Hey what's going on guys? In this video we are going to solve this Bernoulli's differential equation. The first thing is we have to check whether this one is in standard form and if you check this one it's already in standard form right? We have dy over dx that is y prime and p of x a function with x or whatever right and uh, we have y and also we have the same pattern. So now we can go ahead and solve this problem. So in this Bernoulli's differential equation what we do is we try to convert this one into first order linear differential equation. So to do that one we pick a v value that is equal to y power 1 minus n. n value is basically this one. So here the one in the top. So this is our n value right. So n is going to be equal to 5 right here. Then if we apply this equation v is equal to y power 1 minus n therefore v is going to be equal to y power 1 minus 5 and that's going to be equal to y power negative 4. So y power negative 4 is equal to v. Therefore y is equal to, if this is equal to v, we can write this one as, let's try this in different way, like v is equal to 1 over y power 4, therefore y power 4 is equal to 1 over v right therefore y is equal to v power this is v power minus 1 so this is y power 4 here we have to take fourth root so fourth root mean we are multiplying this by 1 over 4 so if you multiply this one by 1 over 4, that's going to give us v power minus 1 over 4. So y is equal to v power minus 1 over 4. Right? Now we can replace y values with this one. So let's note this one down. y is equal to v power minus 1 over 4. Then we have to replace this y prime too. So to replace this y prime, we have to find the derivative. That is y prime is equal to derivative of this one and also this is respect to y and x so we have to do the chain rule and if you find the derivative of this one that's going to give us minus 1 over 4 v my, power of minus 1 over 4 minus 1 so minus 1 can be written as minus 4 over 4 so the total value is going to be minus 5 over 5 and minus 5 over 5 basically minus 1 right so this is going to be our derivative actually this is minus 5 over 4 the denominator doesn't change so this is going to be minus 5 over 4 and since we are finding the derivative with respect to y and x we have to choose use the chain rule so we have to put a dv by dx right here so this is our y prime now let's note this one down y prime is going to be minus 1 over 4 v power minus 5 over 4 dv by dx. So these are the two terms we need in order to change this equation. Now let's go ahead and replace this equation. Let, let's get rid of these parts. We just have to find this y and y prime in terms of e. After that all we have to do is replace this one. Now if we replace this y prime we have to replace it with, with this one right. So this is going to be minus 1 over 4 v power minus 5 over 4 dv by dx plus 2 over x and instead of y we replace this one with v power minus 1 over 4 so here we are going to have v power minus 1 over 4 and in the other side of the equation we are going to have minus x power 9 and instead of y we replace this one with this and that's going to become v power minus 5 over 4 so now we have this equation the next thing we have to do is we have to turn this one into first order linear differential equation and in first order linear differential equation the standard form look like this dy over dx p of x y is equal to f of x and here if you look, look this one this is not in standard form so we have to bring this one into standard form and the first thing we can do is we can divide everything by v power minus 5 over 4 to eliminate this v power minus 5 over 4. So if we divide this one, we have to divide everything. So this is going to be v power minus 5 over 4 and also this one is going to divide by 
p power minus 5 over 4 and if you divide this one this one cancels so we are left with minus 1 over 4 dv by dx and the next thing is going to be 2 by x and v power 5 over 4 plus this one is going to be v power 4 over 4 that's actually v so this is going to be just v and then the next one is going to be this is going to cancel each other so we are going to left with minus x power 9 and the next thing what we have to do is again this is still not in standard form because we have minus 1 over 4 in front and in the original equation we don't have minus 1 over 4 and th basically the v is same as y so we don't have to worry about that one right so we only have to worry about other things so this one is minus 1 over 4 to eliminate this one what we can do is we can multiply this one by minus 4 so in that way this one will be eliminated so we will get dv by dx and here we are going to have minus 8 over x v and in the other side of the equation we are going to have 4x power 9 and now this is in standard form now what we have to do is we have to find out the integrating factor now to find the integrating factor we have to first find the p of x p of x is whatever the value that is multiplying this y value after this dy over dx so here this is going to be our p of x value p of x is equal to minus 8 over x and since we have p of x value we can find out our integrating factor to find integrating factor we use this equation that is mu of x is equal to e power integration p of x dx and we know the p of x already that is e power and since negative 8 so this is actually negative 8 over x not negative 8x negative 8 over x so we have to put this one right here since negative 8 is constant we can move that one to the front and this is going to be integration 1 over x dx and if you integrate this one that's going to give you e power negative 8 ln of absolute value x so here the absolute value we don't have to worry about that one because we only have to have a value like we can't always take the positive value and this is uh, to get rid of this e and ln we can move this negative 8 to the front so this is going to become a power right so this is going to be x power minus 8 so we are going to have e power ln x power minus 8 and e and ln cancels finally we are going to end up with x power minus 8 so this is going to be our integrating factor after we find out the integrating factor we have to multiply both sides of this first order linear differential equation by integrating factor so this is going to be x power minus 8 this side and also x power minus 8 this side right now after we multiply the first term is going to be dv over dx x power minus 8 in the other side we are going to have x power minus 8 and this is going to become x power minus 9 so 8, 8 x power minus 9 v and in this side we are going to have 4 x because 9 plus minus 8 that's going to become just x right so this is going to be just 4 x and uh, after that what we have to do is we can separate this one like this we can write this one as d over dx so I'm taking the first term along v x power minus 8 and if you find the derivative of this one you will get the whole thing back so this one is equal to this one right in first order linear differential equation you will you will always see this one like the first term is going to be equal to, when you find the derivative that will give you give this one back right so we can write this one this one is equal to this one therefore this one must be equal to this one so therefore this one is equal to 4x now what we have to do is we have to integrate both sides of this equation respect to x so this is going to be integration d of x and also other side is going to be integration of this one respect to d of x and if you integrate this one this integration and derivative cancels each other so this is going to be just become v x power minus 8 and in the other side of the equation we are going to have 4 x square divided by 2 and in simple term we can just write 
2x square, right? Because 2 and 4 cancels each other, so we are going to write 2x square. And also we have to put a constant right here. And finally, we are going to get b is equal to 2x power 10, because if we divide this one by x power 8, and, then, and when we swap this one to the top, that's going to become plus 8. So plus 8 plus 2, that's going to become x power 10. And this is going to become c power c times x power 8. So this is our <coughs> final solution. But we are not done yet because previously we had this one in terms of y. Here we have this one in terms of v. So we have to write this one in terms of y, right? Now let's get rid of this part. And previously, we know that we took our y value is equal to v power 1 minus, minus 104. And we know that y power minus 4 was equal to v, right? Minus 4 was equal to v. So if we replace this one, this is going to become 1 over v power 4. Actually, 1 over y power 4 is equal to 2x power 10 plus cx power 8 therefore y power 4 is going to be equal to 1 over 2x power 10 plus cx power 8 so this is going to be general solution for this differential equation but since we have the initial condition if you look at this one we have y of 1 is equal to 1 so we have to find the particular solution for this one too right so here the this value is our x value and this is our y value so all we had to do is we had to replace this y and x value and find out the c and then we have to write our answer including the c value right so that's going to be our particular solution and now let's go ahead and find it we have to find the c value and since everything is one it's going to be really easy because one is equal to one over two power x power 10 because one power anything is going to be one so this is going to be just 2 multiplication by 1 and that's going to be just 2 plus c because c times 1 that's going to be such c therefore 2 plus c is equal to 1 therefore c is going to be equal to negative 1 now we can go ahead and write our particular solution the particular solution is going to be y power 4 is equal to 1 over 2x power 10 and instead of c we replace this one with negative 1 so this is going to be negative 1x power 8 and we can just write negative x power 8 right so this is going to be our particular solution for this differential equation and that's how it is going to problems i hope you guys find this video helpful see you next time